and most applications will want a centralized store to manage the state of our data. So for this, I typically like to use Vuex. I'm going to go over here in my browser and I'm just going to read a little bit about what Vuex is. It says, Vuex is a state management pattern and library for Vue.js applications. It serves as a central store for all the components in an application with rules ensuring that the state can only be mutated in a predictable fashion. It also integrates with Vue's official DevTools extension to provide advanced features such as zero config time travel, debugging, and state snapshot export and import. So let's go ahead and check out the installation. I'm just clicking on the installation link over here. There's a couple different ways. We can use the direct download or CDN but I'm going to use the npm command. I'm just going to copy that with command C. I'm opening up my terminal. I'm in the root of my project and I'm using command V to paste and then enter to run the install. Okay, it looks like it finished. Let's check out the package.json file to see that it's included in our project. I'm just opening up VS Code and I'm going to go down here. I'm in my project folder and I'm going to package.json and we can see that down here in the dependencies we have UX version 3.1.2. So it looks like we're good to go. Now I'm going to walk through how I like to set up my UX store in an application. To get started, let's go ahead and create a folder to place our UX store into. I'm going to go down here to resources JS, and I'm just going to do it right here in the root of JS. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call that folder store. Now within that folder, I'm going to create an index.js file. So a new file, index.js. Now in that file, let's go ahead and import view from view and let's Let's import Vuex from Vuex. Now we need to tell Vue to use Vuex. So I'm going to type Vue use Vuex. And then close that off. And in order to use our store, we want to export. We're going to export modules. So let's go ahead and export default new vuex.store and we're going to pass that some modules and modules will be an object. So here we're importing Vue, we're importing Vuex, we're telling Vue to use Vuex and then we're going to export the Vue store containing the modules. As of right now we don't have any modules so let's go ahead and create a module. I'm going to go over here to the store folder. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call that folder modules. Now within that folder, let's go ahead and whoops, I'm going to save this file first. Command S to save. Now within our modules folder, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call that file, let's do current user.js and this is going to be our module, our current user module for the Vuex store. So let's go ahead with Vuex stores. We typically have four constants. That's the state, getters, actions, and mutations. So let's just go ahead and pop those in here. We're just going to say constant of state equals an object. For right now, I'm just going to leave them empty. We'll go back and fill these in. Constant getters equals an empty object. We'll say constant actions equals an empty object. And then constant mutations equals an empty object. Now we want to make sure we can use all these in our store. So let's go ahead and export default. And I'm going to say state we want to export, getters, actions, and mutations. Now there's one other thing I'm going to add up here and that's going to be namespaces equal or namespaces set to true, not equals. So let's talk about this real quick. 
I'm going to go over here to view X. We're going to click on modules. I'm going to scroll down to namespaces. What are namespaces? Namespacing. By default, actions, mutations, and getters inside of modules are still registered under the global namespace. This allows multiple modules to react to the same mutation action type. If you want your modules to be more self-contained or reusable, you can mark it as namespaced with namespaced true. When the module is registered, all of its getters, actions, and mutations will be automatically namespaced based on the path the module is registered at. So let's fix this real quick because it's named spaced set to true. So I'm going to command S to save. Now we have created our Vuex store. We've created a module for our store. Let's go ahead and add the module into our store. So I'm going to say import current user from modules slash current user. I'm also going to come down here and make sure I include it in my modules and we'll just put current user and then command S to save. And finally, let's include the Vuex store in our application. So I'm going to go to our app.js file and I'll put it right here under my Vuex import and I'm just going to put import store from store. And then right down here, I'm just going to put this in here to include it in the app and then command S to save. At this point, our Vuex store and modules within the store should be accessible from within our application. I originally recorded how to build and incorporate the rest of the current user module in a Vuex store, but the video was getting pretty long, so I decided to leave this as just a Vuex installation guide. If you're already familiar with Vuex and just needed a little help getting it set up in your Laravel project, you should be good to go from here. If you want to see more about how I use Vuex in my projects, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you receive notifications, and I'll be uploading the second half of this video where I go into more detail about Vuex stores and modules.